Hi, I'm Connor Beaton, and I'm here to show you the system interface of the Nintendo 3DS. One of the commenters on our last YouTube video asked for us, so here we go. I'll just take out the stylus from the back here. The device is completely powered off right now, so I'll just open it up and turn it on. Alright, this is the home menu. You can move along the icons which show all the installed software on the device. You can use either the D-pad or the circle pad. The first thing here is the health and safety information, so let's just start that up and give you a look. This shows you the 3D display precautions. You can scroll quite like an iPhone, but just by sliding upwards, or you can use the scroll bar on the side. There's also the general precautions and the usage precautions. This is standard fare of any Nintendo product, so nothing unusual. I'll just press the home button and close the piece of software. Okay, next is the game cart. This shows any piece of software that you've currently got inserted into the device. Right now it's a DS game. Next we have the Nintendo 3DS camera. It's a fully auto stereoscopic camera of 0.3 megapixels. Not particularly high, but it's still a neat feature, particularly since it takes 3D photographs, which is a great way to amaze your friends. There's both the outer camera and the inner camera. The inner camera cannot take 3D pictures, but you can switch to the inner camera at the touch of the button. Like so. And there you can see me covering behind the camera. Let's just bring you back to the home menu now. There's a nice suspended software sign at the top of the screen. And from there you can just close the application. Next we have Nintendo 3DS Sound. And we're going to go over this in a different video, so I'm not going to show this to you. And then just Me Maker, the Street Pass Me Plaza, and the Augmented Reality Games. And again, we'll be showing you all of these in different videos. There's Face Raiders. And finally, we've come to the Activity Log. This shows you a log of all the software and your usage statistics. And you can also see the steps you've taken each day from the built-in pedometer. So let's go into our daily records. There's a graph at the top screen, and we can move throughout the dates. And in the software library, we can see all the software we've played on the 3DS. And when we tap an icon, like so, we can see statistics on the top screen. Let's just go back. And we'll take you back to the home menu. Next, we have the download play. This is the same as download play on the DS. You have an option to do DS download play for playing DS games or 3DS download play. But we won't go into that just now. We'll take you to the system settings. Okay, in the top left we have the internet settings. Now there is a 802.11b and g enabled card in here with full WPA support. You can set your parental controls here. There's data management for deleting your saves and so on, downloaded software, and street pass information. In the bottom right, we have the other settings. There, you can change your profile settings, the date and the time. Let's just take you back. You can calibrate the touchscreen here. This is the same as it was in the DS. You touch the targets, and this calibrates to the touch screen. Let's just test that out here. Works absolutely fine. Let's just go through the rest of the options. Okay, let's take you back. Let's just close that and go back to the home menu. That covers all of the icons here, 
but that's not all that there is. If we scroll back along, you can see the top screen in detail here, the Wi-Fi connectivity and the pedometer. And on the bottom, we have icons along the top. The first which is for the brightness. You can change the brightness of the screen, like so. Then you can change the arrangement of the icons. It's really quite a neat way to customize your home screen. And next we have the game notes feature. You can instantly pause any piece of 3DS software, come in here and read or jot down your notes. For example, in a game you might want to make a note such as the key is under the door. And you can pause your game at any point and come and find that information. Let's just go back. Next we have the friends list for the Wi-Fi connectivity. You can register friend codes here or find your own friend code. If we just go along, this is my profile card. You can set your favorite title, uh, your name, and then your friend code is displayed on the top screen. You can also set a small message, which your friends can see. Next along we have the notifications. As you can see, there are notifications that are built in with the 3DS, such as information about the pedometer. If you take you back to the home menu. And last but not least, there is the internet browser. But we cannot actually show you this because as you can see, the internet browser has not been enabled yet. It may be available by launch. And that is the Nintendo 3DS system interface. I hope you've enjoyed the video and the opportunity to see more of the Nintendo 3DS. We can put it to sleep mode or power it off. In sleep mode the pedometer will continue to function, but we'll just power this off completely for now. Alright, well we hope you've enjoyed the video. And come March 25th, you can buy yourself a Nintendo 3DS for the low price of £200. And more of our Nintendo 3DS coverage will be coming through very shortly.